Want to go from a CapCut beginner to an editing pro fast? I've spent the last year mastering CapCut, creating videos that have reached hundreds of thousands of people. Master these and trust me, your videos will never look the same again. Let's get into it. So you probably have seen before that people copy their clip, duplicate it, remove background, auto removal, and then add some text. Move the text layer in the middle and then the text is behind you. But you're not a master unless you can do what I'm about to show you. So, so for the first effect we want to create that the text begins in front of us, then moves backwards so the focus is on us again. Uh, this is a really nice effect, you can achieve this by doing the following. When you have this, right click, create compound clip and then here you're going to video, basic and add a keyframe. Then go around 10 frames forward. Move slightly in, then move around 15 frames forward and move a bit more out. And here you can even move it up a bit, which I really like to do. But right now the text looks really ugly, it's not smooth and we don't like that. So hit the right, preset curves and here you want to hit ease and this makes it more smooth. Now right click, create compound clip again. And here halfway, when it is moving back, you want to cut a clip, move the first one up and then we're almost there. But right now, it is not as smooth as I'd like it to be. So we are going to extend this clip a little bit. Then we're gonna go to animation, out, fade out and here move the duration to 0.1. And what I like to do is also add an animation and there we have it. So the first effect, it really makes clear what the effect is, but after that it gives the focus to you again, which is a really nice combination in my opinion. Let's go to the next one. And you're not a master if you know this trick. And I'm gonna show you how you can use tracking. And it's really cool, but also really simple. So that's nice. So I got this drone shot for me and a friend of mine. And for example, I want to have a name tag from us that is uh, staying with us. Here you can use the tracking effect. First, we're gonna go to text templates, search one that we like, for example, this one, edit. I'm gonna edit the text. Luke and Kevin. But now if I move this and place it here, it doesn't look nice. It just stays at the same place. That does not look professional. So what we're gonna do is the following. And this effect sometimes can bug a bit. Often it works really well. You wanna hit right, create compound clip, go to tracking, motion track, and here you wanna select what it should track. I'm gonna select us, because it should track us. Hit start. And that's basically it. And as you can see, if I play it now, it stays perfect to us. Really nice, really cool. Up to the next one. And the next one is a float effect. And this is something that you see large creators use all the time because it makes the content look way better. And I'm going to show you how. So for example, if I wanted this clip a CapCut logo that is floating. Well, how? what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna import the logo. I'm going to scale it to whatever I'd like. So for example, like this. And I'm gonna put it here. Also important here, create compound clip again, because otherwise the effect might uh, bug a bit. Then you're gonna go to effects, video effects, and search the rebound swing. And this is a simple effect that basically does this. So we're gonna add it on top. Make sure you're gonna add it really on top of the image and not above, because if you place it above, as you can see, it has impact on the entire video, which sometimes can be useful. I'm just gonna place it on top of the image. And here at the right, you have the size and the speed. Here you can change the variables, change it however you'd like. And then if I'm gonna play it now, you can see it has a hover effect. Really cool, really nice. On to the next one. So something that really helps with engagement in videos is to put text on the screen at important moments. And if you do this correctly, it is really nice and really enhances your video. And I'm going to show you how you can do this right now. And it is really simple. So go to text, add text, default text, Type whatever you like, put it wherever you like. But here comes the thing. You're gonna go to animation, in, and you want to select this one. And as you can see, it has the effect. But right now, it is not synchronized with how fast you speak. And that is what really makes the difference. So how we're gonna do that is actually quite simple. So you want to go to the slider here, move it how long you want it to take, for example, two seconds. And that is how you can match it with your talking. 
So really nice effect. You also have a few other type cursors, for example, this one or this retro typer. And I really also like this one. So I mostly use or this one or this one, whichever you like the most, choose it. On to the next effect. So if you want to make something look really professional, you want to use this trick. And this is something that I use in the movies all the time, and that is using black bars. And also really simple again, how you can use this. So go to effects, movie, and there you have this one. So you want to drag it on top of your clip or even above in this case, extend it, and there you have the black bars. But that is not actually how they do it in movies. So if you really want to do it even more professional, do this. Okay, see the reason why a movie has a black bar is and not because they add it on top of it after the edit, but it's because you use another aspect ratio. And an aspect ratio simply means how high is it versus how wide is it. So for example, if you have a square, the aspect ratio is one to one. If you have, for example, a normal full HD screen, the aspect ratio is 16 by nine. So 16 here, nine here. But a movie basically has another aspect ratio and you can change it right here. So you can see a multiple Presets and the 2.35 by 1 is the one we want to use because that is the one a lot of movies use And if I hit this you can see it changes the screen So I'm gonna make my clip fit this aspect ratio and right now you don't see the black bars But if I'm gonna export it and as you can see if I'm gonna play it now It has the black bars to it even though I didn't add them So the reason why you see black bars in movies is because they use a different aspect ratio Choose whatever one you like. If it's just for a small part in a video, choose the effect. If it's really for the entire video, change the aspect ratio and the resolution, and then you can create this effect. Up to the next one. Okay, so let's say that I'm talking, but I want to keep the video engaged without moving to separate videos. So what I can do is do a small zoom in or zoom out effect. First, you want to select the video. After that, go on the right to video and transform and create your first keyframe. Then move a few frames forward and there you want to zoom in a little bit. This creates the effect we're going to create. Then after that move again a few frames forward and move out a little bit. You're almost done but right now it is not smooth. So when I'm going to play it now it just looks really ugly. And we're going to fix that by hitting right on the keyframe, preset curves and ease. And with this it's just a slightly bit smoother, it's a small difference, but it really enhances the videos. But you have more options at the preset curve. Here you can select multiple things, choose whichever one you'd like, and there you have it. You have a nice little zoom in zoom out effect that keeps helping the video engaged. On to the next one. And the next one is probably one of the most important of them all, and that is shortcuts. By knowing a lot of shortcuts, you can improve your editing time and improve your efficiency so much. And I'm going to show you a really important one. You probably know this shortcut. Ctrl B, it cuts the clip, or Ctrl C and Ctrl, Ctrl V, and it copies the clip. Well, I'm going to show you a new one, and this is to copy the attributes of a clip. So let's say I want to add a zoom in effect we just made also to this clip. What I'm going to do is hit Ctrl Shift C, and then go to this clip, Ctrl Shift V, and then I'm going to choose whatever I'd like. So let's say I want to copy all the attributes. I'm going to hit paste, and if I'm going to play this clip right now, you can see that it added the effects we just made. And it's really simple, and especially if you have a lot of clips with a lot of the same effects, this helps you speed up your editing process so much. And now I will show you how you can make a loading bar. And for this one, you can either add an image from Google or first, or go to stickers. And for example, I want to add a green loading bar. I'm gonna type in green, find something that has a lot of green. I could use this one. I'm gonna edit. I'm gonna make it the length I'd like it to be. Hit right, create compound clip. And then I'm gonna place it wherever I'd like. But right now it's really ugly and it's everything but a loading bar. But here comes the trick. We're gonna hit mask. We're gonna add mask. So first with a mask, you want to create a loading bar how you would like it. So let's say I like it this size. Then I'm gonna hit right click again, create compound clip. Okay, now we have our compound clip and our loading bar. We just have to animate it. And we're gonna do exactly the same thing, add mask again. But now we're gonna put this all the way to the left, make it small so you don't see the bar yet. Hit underneath here on the mask setting this at keyframe button. Move forward wherever you would like the loading bar to end. Stop the clip and move this all the way to the right. And right now when we're gonna play it, 
you can see we have our loading bar and you can even still add some effects if you'd like for example if you want to have like a zoom in effect a slight right effect or whatever you'd like it just adds this slight bit of professionalism and that's a really nice touch okay and this next one is really cool this is something that I have not seen many people do before and it is created a thumbnail in CapCut. A thumbnail is basically one of the most important things because it is the image that has to convince a viewer to go watch your video. And CapCut has this tool, if you hit cover, you're gonna select whichever image of the video you would like. For example, I like this one. I'm gonna hit edit and here they have a lot of templates. So let's find something that I'd like. I'm gonna hit this one, it is generating, I can move the things around if I like, I can change the things, for example. So as you can see, I literally made a professional thumbnail within one minute in CapCut. This is so easy, you have so many templates and everything you can design, you can change stuff. This is such a nice feature to have. Since a lot of people don't have Photoshop, I really recommend this feature. And number 10 is how you can create a cinematic look with a text over your video. So here for we need two layers, you have the video layer, and the text layer. And it is really simple. We'll first create a text however you would like it to be. So make it big, make it however you want it, choose the font you want, add a video on top, go to video, basic, scroll down, go to blend, and right here, hit darken. And now you have created the cinematic look, really cool. These were the 10 effects. If you followed along and you are now at CapCut Masker, thanks for watching, don't forget to hit subscribe, and I hope your next video will be a banger. Bye.